So this is a project I'm sure many of you have heard about already, but for the last like almost four years, I have been trying to mirror my play count graph. And today it is finally done. You can see if I put my mouse on the middle, you'll sort of see what I'm talking about, where it sort of creates a reflection around this month, April 2018. But I actually got the idea in June of 2018. So basically the story is that around this time, I was in a lot of tournaments. So I was playing a lot of multiplayer and score v2. And at the time, neither of those contributed to play count so honestly like at this time you might think just from looking at the graph that i was pretty inactive on usu but in reality i was i was super active i think like I had more tournament matches, like literally just matches in the month than I had actual play count for some of these months. So yeah, I got the idea. This was around the time that the new website had come out. And so you could actually see the specific amount of play count that you have in each given month. So I was looking at my graph and I was like, hmm, yeah, it looks kind of strange that it just kind of tapers off here and it's like almost zero. But more specifically, these numbers kind of repeated, you know, 1930, 1930. And so I was just looking at my graph like, hmm, I wonder what my graph will look like in the future if I start getting more play count again and then i was like oh wait what if i mirror the graph and so i i kind of just did that i was like oh that's gonna be such a good idea and actually what i did so i'm gonna leak my dms with apraxia real quick sorry apraxia but and i got this idea and i just messaged apraxia who i talked to very very often at the time because we were in so many tournaments together and i was just like oh my god i am a genius i'm gonna mirror my play history graph and uh, he did not seem very enthusiastic he's just like why <laughs> but i was just like you know what i am gonna do this because why the heck not and honestly i never really thought about like making it all the way here in the sense that like i would actually sort of follow through i remember oh, okay one time i think this was probably around here so like yeah I, I typed out basically a roadmap of the exact play count that i would need in each of the months i remember i was literally like driving home from school okay this must have been in like early 2019 it was the end of the month so i had to finish getting play count for that month and i, I just remember this distinct moment i was driving home from school and and it, it just kind of dawned on me. I was, I was like, yeah, at this point, like, I, I can't give up anymore. <laughs> I just have to see this project all the way through. And that was back in like 2019. So I, I don't know, really, this was just for fun. But yeah, what I was talking about earlier, I never really thought about like actually making it all the way through to the very end. Obviously, sort of the final goal was to have the graph fully mirrored. But I was never really thinking about that during the process. And I think like without me really realizing it, this was sort of a really good practice in achieving a goal just through setting a system for it. So if you guys are familiar with the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, Absolute Beast, you guys should definitely check out that book or at least, you know, watch a YouTube summary of it or something like that. Very, very cool concepts in that book. But basically one of the really main topics of that book is that instead of setting goals and trying to strive towards your goals, you should just set systems basically that you can just sort of follow through. I think one quote that captures it really well is like, we don't rise to the level of our goals, we fall to the level of our systems. But yeah, I think in sort of working towards this project, I ended up just making a system very naturally in which, you know, whenever it was around the end of the month, I'm just like, okay, well, time to get some play count, make sure I, I meet my sort of quota for the month and make sure that the symmetry continues. And um, yeah, so here we are. I have made it to the end. And so a lot of people ask me like, oh, you know, like, what are you going to do now that the graph is mirrored? So my plan right now, I'm just going to stay offline for a while and basically just preserve the graph the way it is. And what I'm planning now is I'll sort of come back to playing online when OSU Laser score submission works. So this graph is basically going to be like the pre- osu laser score submission era and then whenever osu laser score submission becomes a thing again basically like the version 2.0 of osu in general then that will be sort of when the next part of the graph starts and i don't have any plans to like do anything else that's sort of like special or symmetrical in some way in the future parts of the graph and i'm definitely not going to mirror again i've heard a couple of people suggest that and that is definitely not a good idea <laughs> that i i have already had too many countless nights like the day or two days before the month ends just like trying to farm play count so yeah that is definitely not happening so there's one other very important point i feel i would be remiss if i did not bring this up so let's talk about the elephant in the room let's talk about the couple months that are not perfectly symmetrical so we can take a look at the reddit post that i have made announcing the 
incredible feat of wasting away many many hours towards this play count graph and for the record i did not necessarily do this in order to just make a reddit post out of it but you know if, if you finish a project like this i think it is worth making a reddit post but anyway if we scroll down here there is a very important comment that someone made all right yep this one oh symmetrical you say care to explain this buddy all right all right yeah let's let's see what's going on here all right yep so here we have a couple of the months where Oh, it is not perfectly symmetrical. All right, all right. So in the comment that I replied, I kind of explained the exact reasoning here. So you can pause and read it if you really want to. But basically, one of the months I basically forgot. And I guess two of the months I accidentally went one play count over because I, I kind of spaced out while I was play count farming. And then one of the months, okay, this one was very surprising to me because when the month ended, I had the proper amount of play count. But basically, what happened is I was farming play count on my laptop and then my laptop died. So I switched over to a computer. I finished it there. The play count numbers were correct. And then I found a charger for my laptop. So I turned my laptop back on. And that was actually a very big mistake because apparently there was like pending play count left on that laptop because I still had Osu open. I was like play count farming up until the moment that the laptop died and there was still some like play count there that had been waiting to be submitted. So as soon as I turned my laptop on and went back to the main menu, then that play count ended up submitting. But I didn't actually realize until like later, like I think like a week or two later, I checked the play count graph and I was like, whoa, wait, why, why is it not symmetrical here? What's going on? So yeah, that was a little unfortunate, but as I said at the bottom of this common i think there is just perfection and imperfection and in persevering i think the first time that i messed up the numbers which i think was actually this one it was actually kind of sad because like i like got distracted in like i was gonna finish the play count later in the day but then i, I forgot until like one minute before i remembered and then i checked the time and like the month was gonna take over in one minute i was like oh my god there's no way i like i was like okay i at the very least i should try to like hop on usu and like get nine play count <laughs> definitely did not work none of it counted towards the month but like after that i was like oh, i just i just had to sit with myself for a little bit i was like do i want to keep going even when the numbers are not perfect anymore and obviously the answer was yes because first of all i reached a point where like if i stopped going for the symmetry then like you would be able to tell it would be like a stain like instead of being like a cool little project it would just become a stain on my profile because like you would be able to tell that i was trying to make it symmetrical and then one month got off and i just stopped like i think that would be so much worse than like not doing it at all and I was like, you know what? It kind of keeps the shape still. I don't even know which month exactly was off. But yeah, I was like, you know what? It keeps the shape. It's going to look symmetrical in the end. And that is really what matters. But yes, very valid point. Um, thank you for exposing the couple months that I had gotten off. I like the way that this comment had put it here. This will be looked back at one day and admired just as the pyramids in Egypt, as all in the future ponder how it was done from birth to death. Thank you, Thick Physics. This is, I think, actually a really good way to put it. I sort of wonder what the long-term sort of repercussions will be. Not really repercussions, but the long-term effects of this sort of play count graph symmetry thing, how it will impact the future generations and OC trivia and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, like none of that stuff was really going through my mind when I was working towards this project but obviously it's sort of something that might naturally end up happening but yes anyway I think that about does it for this video I just wanted to recap the sort of closing chapter on this project thanks to anyone who followed along since I know this has been sort of public information that I've been sort of working towards this goal for a while so anyone who's been sort of following along with that you guys are super cool and uh, yeah that's about it